As the climate warms, the polar regions are changing more rapidly than any other part of the planet. Satellites play a vital role in monitoring these remote and inhospitable places. More than 40 years of satellite observations show seasonal changes in snow and ice cover, as well as changes year to year. Snow is melting earlier each spring, and snow cover is declining in the northern hemisphere. Beneath the snow, about a quarter of the land remains frozen throughout the year. But this area of permafrost is also shrinking rapidly as Earth warms. The ground temperature is rising by more than one degree per decade along the Arctic shoreline. Lightning and heat waves are becoming more frequent in the Arctic, triggering wildfires further north. Burned areas absorb more sunlight, accelerating permafrost loss. The thawing permafrost releases large quantities of methane and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, as well as damaging roads, pipelines, and buildings. In the Arctic Ocean, satellite observations show the loss of summer sea ice over the last four decades. Based on current trends, the Arctic Ocean will be ice-free in summer by 2050. But sea ice extent is only half the story. Radar satellites like ESA's Cryosat can measure the thickness of sea ice so that ice volume can be calculated. The elevation of the ice surface can also be measured on land, showing where the polar ice sheets are thinning. Radar and optical satellites are used to measure the flow of the ice sheet and its outlet glaciers. Flow rates are increasing, and Greenland is now losing more ice each year than it gains from snowfall. Earth is losing more than a trillion tons of ice each year. That's a thousand times London's annual water consumption, enough for an ice cube 10 kilometers high. The loss of ice from the polar regions and high mountains have consequences that are felt all around the world. Ice loss from glaciers, ice sheets, and frozen land contributes to sea level rise. The loss of floating ice doesn't change the level of the sea, but it does change Earth's reflectance, ocean salinity, and heat flow. This affects air currents such as the jet stream, increasing the frequency and severity of extreme weather. ESA is using Earth observation satellites to measure the amount of ice lost from each component of the cryosphere. This is just one year's ice loss, and the rate of melting is increasing. The sooner we stabilize Earth's temperature, the more manageable its impacts will be.